To add your name to the group list, you'll scroll down to where you see group activity. On the right hand corner of the screen in the pod, there's an edit button. If you click on that ed edit button, you'll go to the edit page. And from here, what you'll do is you'll copy this text that I'm selecting here. So, and paste it just below that. So control C and control V. Copy and paste. And you will change this number to the next consecutive number, in this case, the number two. You'll change your name. Or you'll change the name here. So you'll put your name, your first name. Your user ID, which you can find if you go to any page in WikiEducator, and if you're logged in, you should see your login name at the top right-hand corner of your screen. If you click on that link, this will take you to your user page. And when your user page appears, you'll see your ID. And your ID will appear just after uh, wikieducator.org forward slash. So it will be a user colon and then your username. So you'll select or copy user colon and then your username just as I've done here control C or copy and then you'll go and paste this information here where I've selected you'll see then a vertical bar and then you'll change your last name so all you have to do is change your last name here and then leave everything else as it is the, the next line you'll add male or female. The line just below that you'll leave as it is. The line under that you will indicate EFL uh, learner or student. You can change this basically anything you want to describe you. Okay, underneath that line you'll leave this as Mexico. And then below that you'll see mail to. You'll leave that as it is and you'll change your email just where I've selected here. So you'll change your email and you will leave the words email that appear here. Leave this as it is and you'll leave mail to. Okay, then the line below that you'll change only your username, just the text that I've selected here. And this will be your username. Uh, that corresponds with what you put up above here. So this will be the same. And below that where it says edit count, you'll also change this. So you'll have your username in three places, three different lines. Again, just keeping the rest of the text as is. Then below that, uh, you can change this again to student or learner, uh, basically anything you'd like. And you can click show preview and see what that looks like. So if you haven't changed any of the formats and only changed the information that I've indicated here, then this should work for you and you'll have your name appear here. If for any reason this information doesn't look correct, the easiest thing to do is go back and delete this and start over again, copying, pasting again, just this information here that I'm selecting exactly the way I've done it here. Copy and paste and then change the information uh, that, that you need to change. Okay, so give it a shot. If you have any questions, uh, let me know.